I'm Ronson Leiter with the lighter side of British politics. When I was growing up, my dad was a tool maker. Every tool had a purpose. Um, unlike, he never made a tool quite like Rishi Sunak. He certainly is a tool without a purpose. On the campaign trail, we caught up with Sir Keir Starmer. And I asked him about the posters behind him, uh, which said change. I said, we don't want to mislead people and think they're going into a changing room because that can open up an entirely new can of worms. And this was his reply, somewhat confusingly. Oh, those signs. Well, it's funny because yesterday I was in this town somewhere. I won't say where. I won't want to malign anybody there. But this chap came up to me and he said, don't those signs say cringe? I said, do not say cringe. It says change. He says, well, aren't we going towards a cashless society? Because having small change in my pockets gives me holes in my trouser pockets, which I don't like. He said, it's hard enough keeping track of your money as it is. Well, I did laugh. And so, Mr Starmer, what typifies the last five years of Conservative rule? Oh, well, I would say it's the three C's, which is uh, chaos, uh, corruption and, um, well, more chaos. It's just been chaotic. Oh, for a moment there, I thought you were going to say calamity. Oh, well, that's... How many C's is that now? That's at least four. It's just a C of disaster. Well, there is no C in disaster. Well, if there was, these lot would mess it up. Mr Suntax also made great stock of the fact of the achievements of the Tory government over the last 14 years. A tumbleweed blew by at this point, and there was a, a sort of a stifled <laughs> cough in the room from several people who were trying to figure out what those successes were. And in financial news today, it has been revealed that certain tailor shops in Islington are stocking up on jackets with elbow patches following the news that Jeremy Corbyn is going to be standing as an independent. Sales are expected to be brisk. Oh, Jeremy Corbyn. And one other piece of breaking news, Nigel Mirage has confirmed his unwavering commitment to democracy as demonstrated during the Brexit situation by pulling out of the forthcoming general election. I'm Ronson Leiter with the lighter side of British politics. <laughs>